Hi, I'm Tracy, VE3TWM. Thank you for tuning in to Outdoors on the Air. A large part of the fun I have with portable operations is trying different antennas. A few weeks ago, Tim Ortiz, November 9, Sierra Alpha Bravo, offered to send me one of his 20-meter, 40-meter, 100-watt linked dipoles to test. I gratefully accepted his offer, and soon the antenna arrived at my door. It's been quite a while since I've used a true dipole in the field. In recent years, I have focused primarily on end feds and off-center fed dipoles. I was intrigued with the prospect of running a resonant antenna on 40 and 20, so I decided to pack along the linked dipole as I prepared for a canoe trip into the Ontario wilderness. The fact the antenna was resonant meant I did not need to pack a tuner for use with my tunerless rig. The 2040 meter 100 watt linked dipole sells for $89. Tim also sells a QRP version of this antenna for a lower price. When purchasing antennas that offer QRP and 100 watt versions, I always opt for the 100 watt model. That way, I never have to try and remember if an antenna I am packing is QRP and would be damaged if higher power is applied. A dipole is a fairly simple antenna, but there are a few key features I look for when choosing one. For a portable op, one of the most important attributes is durability. I have several N9 SAB antennas in my collection, and I can tell you without reservation they are extremely sturdy. Gear is not always subject to perfect weather or careful packing, so having a solidly made antenna means a longer lifespan and reliable performance. Tim even has a photo on his website of him driving over the feed point of one of his antennas with his Jeep, and he offers a money-back guarantee. The 2040 link dipole is really just a 20 meter dipole with the ability to easily accept extensions to convert the antenna into a 40 meter dipole. As such, all the typical deployment configurations are possible with this antenna. Just bear in mind you are going to have to pull down the antenna to switch bands. So now you have an idea of what this antenna is and how it is constructed, but of course, all that information doesn't mean a thing if the product does not perform. I took the 2040 link dipole on a backcountry trip, far from any modern convenience, and of course a complete lack of man-made noise sources. In order to give the antenna a fair test, I scheduled a Parks on the Air event to coincide with my trip. On the day of the activation, I unpacked the antenna, and laid it out on my all-weather emergency blanket. N9SAB sends the antenna in the camo bag you see here. It's a nice touch. The package consists of the 20-meter dipole, two extenders for 40 meters, and a plastic cap for the SO239 connection on the feed point. My intent for the POTA activation was to spend an hour on 40 meters, then move up to 20. To accommodate this, I needed to attach the 40 meter extensions to the radiators. The extensions are very easy to connect. The bullet connectors simply plug in and do not undergo any stress as Tim has built in an effective strain relief. I'd also like to point out the nice end connector eyelets N9SAB has crafted. They've got this shape to allow them to be pulled through tree branches without snagging. That's a real-world touch I appreciate. There's a strong loop on the top of the feed point, which is very handy for tying paracord to. I attached my anchor line to the loop and pulled the antenna up to a branch about 25 feet above ground level. The antenna was erected in a semi-inverted V with the angle at about 135 degrees. The dipole legs stretched to the east and west presumably giving me better radiation to the south. There's not much in the way of active hams to the north of where we were camped. This orientation was not done as a preference, 
but out of necessity. There was simply no other option to get the dipole up to a decent height due to overhead tree branches. The antenna was now up. I set up my Yesu FT891 along with a 10 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery, plugged in the antenna and was ready to go. Uh, the SWR on 20 watts, I'm running 20 watts on the FT891 um, and, uh, and I'm getting an SWR of probably around 1.5 to 1. Uh, a little bit higher than I would have expected with the dipole. Uh, not 100% sure what's going on with that, but uh, at least not an issue from an SWR perspective. I did not bring along a tuner on this uh, trip uh, due to weight restrictions. November 2, Bravo Tango Delta, you are 5 and 5 into VE 0138, QSL? QSL, you're 5 5, November Yankee, 55 in the state of New York. Thank you for being out there today, 7 3 from New York. Hey, thank you very much for the contact, and if you have an opportunity, could you spot me on the POTA page? I'm doing that right now. <laughs> you're a gentleman, thank you very much, really appreciate the contact. Kilo November 6, Lima, Foxtrot, Bravo. Please copy 5 and 5, 5 and 5 into VE 0138. Roger, Roger. I copy the 5 and 5. Thank you, Tracy. I have you 5 and 7 here in Delaware with a lot of QSC right now. No problem. And by the way, you're peaking. You just come up. You're peaking at 7, uh, 7S units. So real nice job, and thank you very much for the contact. Thank you very much. 73, JM6, LSP. November Golf 4 Delta X-Ray. November Golf 4 Delta X-Ray. Please copy Victor Echo 3 Tango Whiskey Mike from VE 0138. And I've got you in here at a 5 and 6, sir. Roger, Roger. I had 5 and 6 in Georgia. Ah, very good. So my signal report is 5 and 6, sir? Roger, Roger. 5, 6, 56 in Georgia. Okay, you're 56 headed here into VE0138. Thank you very much for the contact. Really appreciate it. Roger, Roger. Same as Reason. Thank you for activating. Hey, you're very welcome. It's a pleasure. November 3 Tango Station, please. November 3, Tango November Zulu. Come ahead, please. Okay, I'm running 10 watts here in Harford County, Maryland. Copy your 5, uh, sorry, copy your uh, your 10 watts from Maryland. Nice job. I got you in here at a 5 and 4 from VE 0138. QSL? Oh, 5-9. Five 5-9 nine. Five nine here. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Enjoy your weekend. 73. Kilo 2 Hotel Alpha uh, from Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike. Go ahead, please, sir. QSL, QSL, 5 5, Papa Alpha. Copy the 5 5 from Papa Alpha. I'm giving you a nice 5 and 7, nice 5 and 7 into Ontario. QSL, QSL, this is K2HA. Number 9, Sierra Alpha Bravo. November 9, Sierra Alpha Bravo. Come ahead, please, Tim. Well, Tim, it's exciting to be able to make a contact with you. As you might have heard, uh, your antenna is working very well. Well, thank you very much. Greatly appreciate the uh, assistance on that. Ah, oh, beautiful. Okay, well, it's, it, it, it's wonderful to have friends who can do stuff like that for sure.
Uh, trip is fine. The weather is good. Uh, no rain uh, anywhere in sight, and that's the best part. Uh, the bugs are a little bit more than I would expect for mid-August, uh, but uh, so far so good. So if uh, it, I, the plan is that sometime after the top of the hour, uh, things die out a little bit here on 40. Uh, I'll pull down the antenna, uh, remove the uh, the extensions, and then set it back up for 20. All right, fantastic. I'll let you get back to it. You're good. Hey, great. Thanks for the contact, Tim. And, of course, thanks for the antenna. Greatly appreciate. Wonderful to make a contact with you. After an hour and a bit on 40, I had made more than 50 contacts. The contact rate slowed down, so I pulled down the antenna ends and removed the 40 meter extensions. Just as an FYI, I was curious to see if the SWR would be good if I disconnected the bullet connectors and raised the antenna again with the 40 meter extensions still in place. As I had suspected, the SWR on 20 was not at all good, so I pulled the antenna down again and removed the extensions. Let's see how I fared on 20. CQ parks on the air, CQ parks on the air, CQ parks on the air. This is Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike, from VE 0138. Kilo Fox 5 station again, please. Copy, KF5ZPL, Kilo Foxtrot 5, Zulu, Papa, Lima. Please copy, Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike, from VE0138. Um, and I'm giving you a 5 and a 4, sir, 5 and a 4. Roger, Roger on Arkansas. Thank you very much for the contact. Kilo Golf 5, Zulu, Quebec. Kilo Golf 5, Zulu, Quebec. Thank you very much for coming back to my CQ. Uh, please copy 5 and 5 from VE0138. Thank you very much for the contact and have a wonderful weekend. 73. Not bad. On 20, I wasn't making a lot of contacts, but I was getting into the southern U.S. Not being able to spot myself on the POTA site due to being way out of cell range was not helping. Regardless, I was getting some decent signal reports on 20. But the big surprise was yet to come. Is there a Zulu, Florida station in there? Zulu, Florida, one Delta, Japan. One Delta, Japan. Zulu, Florida, one Delta, Japan. Please copy five and four, five and four from Park VE 0138. Okay, thank you. Five and four. You're also five four. You're also five four. Seven three. Thank you. Thank you very much. So there you have it. In the end, I made a total of 57 contacts on that trip with the N9SAB 2040 linked dipole. That's great performance for about an hour and a half's work, running only 20 watts. I can wholeheartedly recommend this antenna from a ruggedness, performance, and price perspective. The only question you have to ask yourself is if a linked dipole is for you. Manually changing bands by lowering the antenna might not be your cup of tea. But if you don't mind and are looking for a versatile performer that will last for years of heavy-duty use, take a hard look at the N9SAB 2040 linked dipole. My thanks to Tim, November 9 SAB, for sending me the dipole to test. I've left a link to Tim's eBay store in the description below. And by the way, if you'd like to see more about this ham radio canoe trip, check out this video on my channel. 
There's more background on the gear and setup to be found there. I'll leave a link to that video in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. It helps boost my viewership. Now it's your turn. Get out of the shack, get outdoors and get on the air. 73 from Tracy, VE3TWM.